United Airlines received $5 billion of bailout from the federal government, and now United is cutting hours and slashing paychecks for thousands of employees right here in the Houston area. Good evening, I'm Chris Gutierrez. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Christy Noel. Dominique is off. Channel 2's Michael Lapardi is live at Bush Intercontinental Airport tonight with what employees and the airline are saying about all of this. Michael? Well, Houston is one of United's largest hub, but look around me tonight. There's barely anybody here. This is part of the reason why United said it had to go this route. But one worker told me he feels betrayed, especially for workers who supported the airline's bid for government help. With fewer passengers at Bush Intercontinental Airport, thousands of employees at United Airlines just learned their hours are about to be cut. Baggage handlers, ticket agents, reservation agents. Victor Hernandez is with the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers. The cuts are going to be as, as steep as uh, 10 hours uh, a week. That's going to affect approximately 3,500 members in the Houston area. He says less work means less pay, and the change for full-timers comes as the airline receives $5 billion in government aid through the CARES Act. We believe that the CARES Act is very clear and that the intent is to keep our salaries uh, to keep employees whole through through this time. The program has requirements about employee pay rates, but not ours, though that's not how these men see it. It's not the right thing to do, to ask the public to get money and then do the opposite from what the bill was intended to do. United says the government money won't be enough to cover its payroll, yet alone the rest of its costs. And bills are piling up at a time when fewer people are flying. A spokesman told me the airline has already made other cuts, and the decision to reduce hours wasn't taken lightly. But United believes it's in compliance with the law. We disagree with this, and we're going to make sure that we take this to court. Workers pushing back as the airline tries to control costs. The schedule changes will take effect on May 24th, essentially turning full-time workers into part-time workers. The airline said it doesn't know how long the schedule will last. Reporting live, Michael Lopardi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.